All right, boys and girls. So today for our spectacular art project, we are going to be making <gasps> napkin ghosts. It's really fun and easy. And um, my favorite thing to do is if you have a ceiling fan to attach it to the ceiling fan because they fly super well in a circle. Kind of hard to see while I'm sitting down, but they do, I promise. <laughs> All right, so um, you don't need much. You just need two napkins, some string, scissors, and a pen. And if you want, you can also, you know, you can add your eyes if you have googly eyes or if you bought some candy eyes. Um, these are cute too, if you wanna add them on. You'll need glue for the eyes if you want to do that. So step number one is just to unfold both of your napkins. Make it all laid out. And uh, then you're going to take one of your napkins and you are going to ball it up into a loose uh, ball. Roll it up into a loose ball. You don't want it to be super, super tight, uh, but you also don't want it to be, you know, too loose. Just a nice little about, you can see how it's in my hands. You can't really see it. Just kind of crumple it up that big. And then you're just gonna lay out your other napkin flat on your table. And you're just going to put your ball right in the middle of the napkin and then fold around the ball like that. Okay. You can give it a loose twist. You don't wanna strangle your ghost, but nice little loose twist like so. Kind of get that neck portion going on. And then you'll just take your thread or your string and you'll, if, you, if you're gonna hang it like from the ceiling, you might want it a little longer, or if you're just gonna hang it from a door frame or from the refrigerator or something, you can do it a little shorter. But then you just take your thread and you wrap it around your ghost's neck and tie it, tie it in a little knot. Again, you're probably gonna want a double knot because if, especially if you're using thread like me, you know, it's so thin and loose, you don't want it to come apart. So a double knot is always your best bet. And of course, double knotting thread is no fun, but it's not too bad. Okay. All right. So there is your first part of your ghost. And you'll notice too, that when, um, when he hangs, he kind of hangs at an angle. So you'll just have to figure out, uh, where, the heaviest part of the ball is and which way it's going to hang. You can also kind of twist it around if you need to, to make it hang a little bit easier. And then you'll just open up the sheet part of your ghost to make him a little poofier. And that is, I mean, if, if you're done, then you're done. You know, this, this is good enough. Um, but you can also of course make a face on your ghost. So for this one that I already made, I just drew black eyes and a mouth on it with my Sharpie. Um, but for this ghost, I'm gonna glue some eyes on him just so he looks a little friendlier. And I'll also uh, draw a little smile on too. So we're gonna take our glue and just do two dots. Don't lose the cap. Two dots on the ghost's face, wherever you decide my glue doesn't want to work. There we go. Boop and boop. And then just stick those eyes right on there. <laughs> it looks funny already. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> because he's around, his eyes are <laughs> poking out like a chameleon. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna give him a cute little smile. Of course, it's a little challenging because of the ridges in the paper, but oh, I think he's pretty cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? Spooky. <laughs> All right, that's it, gang. Pretty easy, right? And then, like I said, my personal favorite thing to do with these is if you have it, to hang it on a ceiling fan and then they can really fly around the house. But because they, uh, 
do hang at an angle. It's best to hang them up high, you know, so that you can see the face smiling down at you. And plus, I mean, ghosts fly, you know, they're up on the ceiling and stuff. They always talk about ghosts on the ceiling. So yeah, if you hang it from your rafter or something, then you'll have a cute little happy ghost smiling down at you for Halloween day and night. All right, I hope you have fun with this and I'll see you back here tomorrow for your Friday edition of uh, Reading Corner. And tomorrow we're gonna be making an extra special treat in the kitchen. I think you're gonna like it. See you then.